today, <laughs> today is bring your cat to work day. Yeah, I'm going to see how this is going to work out with little Missy here. You going to be okay? Okay, you might hear me over in the background. I have to get up and get her out of this room. I think it's happening already. Hi guys, it's Annie and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be sharing the five product challenge. That means that I am going to do my entire face only using five products products. This is in collaboration with my friend Kate and Sarah. So Sarah's channel is Better Off Red. She shares makeup tips, get ready with me. She does an unboxing of BoxyCharm every month and then she'll share whatever she gets in the box to do kind of look like a little get ready with me and share how products work or don't work. Love it. She's funny. She's witty super talented. I also love that she does special effects makeup. So she'll do, she has the last couple years. I don't know if she's going to do a lot this year. I think she said, but she loves Halloween and she usually does a lot of fun Halloween looks too, which even though I don't get dressed up for Halloween or anything, I just love watching those videos. The other lady is Kate the Great. She is hysterical. She's hysterical. And actually the first time I saw Kate was on Sarah's channel. So Kate is funny. She she cheers get ready with me, but she has an interesting way of doing it because she usually has a glass of wine with her and she shares about the glass of wine that she's drinking as she's doing her get ready with me. She talks about skincare. She just is entertaining, funny. I absolutely love her. I love both of these ladies. They're very, very supportive in our community and I love that. So I know that if you're not already following them, you will love these ladies. I will leave their links below. I cannot wait to see what they are going to share. So let's just get right into it. I'm going to scoot up a little bit here. Hopefully I'm not too close. I don't want to scare you with no makeup on. We are preparing for a hurricane here. Yeah, we moved to Florida last summer. So it's going to be your first hurricane. So it's kind of crazy what's going on right now. So I'm going to start out with this. This is going to be my foundation. This is my Fessorins from Lancome. And those of you who have been following me know that this has been my holy grail. A little mirror over here. I'm just going to apply this with my finger. It's early here on a Saturday. I usually don't record on Saturdays, but like I said, we have a hurricane coming. And the following Saturday is when this is going to go up. So we'll see what happens in a week with everything. So I'm going to go ahead and put this concealer on. And I have to get my magnified mirror because I'm blind. <laughs> yeah, without my reading glasses. I turned 53 this August. And... I probably started wearing readers, I think, when I was 40. And I remember when I went to the eye doctor, like if I would look far away and then I would glance at something else, like I just felt like my eyes were really blurry. So I went to the eye doctor to get my eyes checked because I said, I can't, I just feel like I'm having a hard time seeing. And he's like, he laughed at me and said, <laughs> you're old. But I'm not even kidding you, that is what he said. I'm like, <laughs> Yeah, I won't be going back to you again. <laughs> that was when I was 40, so what am I now? Okay, so now I'm going to take this concealer and I'm going to use this as my foundation. The thing about this concealer is you can use it as a foundation because it's not a really thick one. I don't think I would do, use a thick one, although a thick one could be like a cream foundation, I guess. If it's too thick, it would be, I think it would be hard to work with. I'm just going to put this on any red areas or discoloration areas. That's what I'm going to do. Now, normally I don't put anything on my nose, but since I'm by product, I'm going to use this. Well, I shouldn't say don't usually put anything. I usually don't put a foundation on my nose because it doesn't stay. So I usually use a, um, a mineral powder color corrector normally, but since we're not doing that, we're just cheating here today. But this is really good to know what Sarah actually thought of this idea and you know what I like about it is there have been times when I have um, gone on a trip forgot to pack something and then you kind of have to figure out how to get a look together with what you have left so I think it's this is a fun challenge to do plus like I said this is like something that 
I got this stupid little guy here and I have no color corrector. But um, this is just a nice little challenge to do in general. And if you wanted to do a really quick, like fast look, you um, this isn't going to be a fast look because I'm filming myself. But normally I could probably do this quickly. Just a little bit of concealer, blush, a little bit of eye look, and you can go. So this is going to be a really pretty natural look. Now I'm going to go in and we are going to use this palette. So this is the Persona Identity 2 palette. We're going to use this for a lot of my look today. I am going to go in, I'm not going to use any powder on my face, but I really don't need to because I didn't use a foundation on my face and I never ever powder underneath my eyes. What I do, and I probably should do this really quickly, is I take this brush, this at Cosmetics brush, and, and I smile and I just make sure that there's no little bit of creasing that I have, but I can't powder under my eyes because I just feel like if I do, it settles in my lines. I'm going to take the color Passionate right here and I'm going to use that as a blush. Really pigmented. And I'm going to put it right up here. Now you can use lipstick as a blush as well. Um, but I'm, I have something else. I have I have something, so I got something. I got cover. I'm gonna actually put a little bit more right here. Try to be careful because I don't want to look like a clown because I have no powder to tone it down. And I'm getting the higher part of my cheekbone because I am a mature lady with a sagging face, so I don't I don't do the little cheeky thing like that. I hear Kitty, Kitty calling me. Now I'm going to take, I want to try this as a highlighter. I'm a little nervous, but I'm going to try it. So I'm going to take this Honest in here, this color right here, and I'm going to put it right up here. Just slap that on the top part of my cheek there. Yeah, it's really pretty. That is really, really pretty. This guy is just annoying the crap out of me but we're just gonna ignore it. Now I'm gonna go in and start doing my eyes and I think the first color I'm gonna do and by the way I've shared this palette before I love this palette I love the colors this brand I love everything that I've tried for them and if you've been following me you know I don't love everything I'm very very picky but I love this palette so this is the identity 2 palette but look at the colors in there can we even and the names of these are so like honest, kind, loyal, independent, passionate, unique, driven, confident, empowered, resilient, brave, limitless. Love the name. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to use the color loyal. So that one's, that color's right there. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that right here on the upper part of my crease here. There's a lot of activity going on around here and hopefully it's, you're not going to hear all of it but yard people are working. I live in Florida. It's an endless of <laughs> yard work all the time. But I can hear them in the front of my house. I'm in a room that's in the front of my house. My daughter is sleeping. My husband is sleeping. I, I usually, like I said, film during the week. I don't usually film on Saturdays, but I just want to get this wanted to get this film because I don't know what's happening next week. Now I'm going to go in passionate again, right there, put it right here, corner, and work it up a little bit. I'm going to go back and blend that, but let me just get this on the other eye. I'm doing the same thing. I'm putting the right on the corner there. These brushes, by the way, are BK Beauty brushes from Lisa J Makeup. I love these, you guys. And I have other brushes, but I've been exclusively using these on and off camera. So not just on camera, off camera. I have them in my bathroom. I actually took a picture of it uh, and posted it on Instagram like, I don't know, a couple weeks ago or so. I, I just love these brushes. They're so soft. I just, and Lisa's a sweetheart too. I love her. She's a, she's a really sweet lady in our community. Resilient, just right here. So 
So by doing this, when I'm putting it on the sides of my eyes like this and kind of working it up a little bit, I'm just lifting my eye up and making it look not so sad and, and aging. I'm just going to blend it in. I'm going to go in with this color right here. And that was my highlighter color. That is honest. I always like to use a nice light color, highlight color right here on my eyelid because I just feel like it lifts and brightens up my eye. Now I'm going to take a smudger brush and I'm going to go in with the color Resilient right down there. And I'm going to put that right under my lash line. I'm going to use this color Limitless and that is going to be my eyeliner. So I'm going to take a angled brush like this and I actually did a video on this recently how to do this but I'm going to take that color and this isn't a wet brush it's a dry brush and then I'm going to work it right into my lash line. Tabby! Come here. Come here. So I'm taking the color. Do you hear? Do you hear her? She's having a mental breakdown. Oh, I got a little bit of fallout on my face, but we'll get that. I gotta be careful when you're using the shadow. I got a little bit of fallout, but not a big deal. So what I did is I just cleaned it up with my I went back with my concealer and cleaned it all up. Now I'm going to go in and use the same palette for my eyebrows. So this palette has this color Loyal in it, same color I used on my, my transition color. I am going to go in and I'm going to use that. I'm going to take my brows and I'm going to dip it in that color. I'm using that same brush that I just used. And I'm going to do my brows. Now you, they do have powder um, brow products. I actually have one from Benefit. It doesn't always stay really well, but it can be, this can be done. I mean, if you were in a tight pinch, you know? So these are not gonna look like the best brows, but they're gonna look like brows. <laughs> they're gonna look better than if I hadn't done anything at all. If you have nice thick brows, you could get away with just throwing a little bit of clear gel on them or just grooming them, you know? Me, as you can see, I have two different brow situations going on there because I basically have no hair there. So I have to do, I have to put something in it. Next thing I'm going to do is I am going to do my mascara. So I'm going to go in with my Dior Show mascara. The last things, two things that I can use on this because I've already used one, two, three. I have two more products that I'm going to use. And one is a lip liner. I have to use a lip liner. I have uneven lips, so I need to use this. next product that I'm going to use is my Chanel Libby. So this is in the color Mary Rose 337. So this is where you put the lip stick or the lip color on one side and then you put the gloss on the other. Did I say that right? You put the lipstick on first and then you let it dry and you put the gloss on top. And that is it guys. This is my final look. I hope that you really enjoyed this video. 
please make sure you go on over and check out Kate's and Sarah's channels. Make sure you subscribe to their channels as well. And I would also love to have you join me here. I share new videos every single week. I'm all about anti-aging. I share makeup tips and tricks, a little bit of fashion. And I would love to have you join me here. So just click that subscribe button below. And also make sure you click that notification bell too. You can follow me on Instagram. And that is it. Thank you guys so much. I will see you all in my next video. Bye.